Hi everyone, Dave here. I uh, just wanted to say hi. Um, talking to my consultant today. Uh, they're pleased with the progress that I've been making since I came home from hospital. It feels very slow to me and it's quite frustrating that I can't do all the things that I want to do yet. But nonetheless, they are happy with me. And I have to settle for that. And I'm grateful. I want to tell you that I know so many of you are praying for me at the minute and it's tangible. It's something that I actually feel and I greatly appreciate it and it's working. So thank you. I posted a little prayer this morning on the new website that we have, Prayers for Lockdown, about not leaving anyone behind. It's really important to me that as we think about coming out of lockdown as church, that we don't leave anyone behind. We went into this together. We began lockdown together. I believe passionately that we leave together. And that if there are those who are unable to leave lockdown, then we should stay with them. There's a little bit in our book, Pilgrims in the Dark, where I talk about disabled people, their experience being rather like a traffic accident, and that they're lying in the wreckage in the middle of the road, and there are these people on the pavement who don't know how to deal with this. And some of them are thinking, this is too painful, I just want to walk away. Some of them are thinking, I don't know what to do, and I feel useless. Some of them are wondering if they've got a new useful first aid skills to actually get involved and try and help on a practical level. Um, what I'm saying is that the disabled person sitting in the road just wants someone to sit with them, to hold their hand, and wait for the ambulance. And if we all start to leave now, this lockdown situation, and go back to our churches, leaving behind those who are not able to do that right now, that will be the situation. We will be leaving them sitting in the wreckage in the middle of the road while we go off back to our buildings. That, I just can't believe that that would be what Jesus would do. We need to stay with the people unable to go back for as long as that takes. If they can't go back, we can't go back. It's that simple. I don't want to say any more. I don't want to labour the point. I don't want to argue with anybody. That is how I see it. That is what I feel God is placing on me to say. So I'm going to leave you with that. Once again, thank you. I do feel your prayers so much. Uh, by the way, Jarvis is doing fine too. Um, he had a little, you, some of you will have noticed, he had a little trip up the stairs for the first time in months the other day. Um, he's retreated back to downstairs again. Um, I'm busy turning part of my backyard into a little kind of Pustinia chapel, call it what you will, by using a gazebo. And when that's ready, I'll be able to sit out there and broadcast live bits of the ordinary office. And most importantly, you'll be able to see Jarvis. And you'll be able to take part. And I'm sure that'll bring joy to a lot of you. So uh, watch out. Various bits and pieces are due to arrive in the next few days. I'm hoping by the early next week, um, we'll be up and running from a gazebo in my backyard. Um, and we'll be broadcasting live prayer as often as we can. In the meantime, please go to the Prayers for Lockdown site. Look at that prayer, 
it's called Together. And please join me in praying it regularly. Thank you. Bye-bye.